hey awesome entrepreneurs how are you doing so friends let me tell you the topic the tool i'm going to cover here is going to change the way you manage your entire week okay friends i used to struggle a lot on managing my entire calendar and every day i used to create the events and every day i used to forget them i had no weekly planning at all and that used to create a big time uh, chaos in my calendar and I, I did i did not used to actually prioritize what to do first and then second and third and fourth right things going or not going well now and i'll not take much time to actually explain you how i came out of that situation and how i started mastering my 50 hours a week like a pro but i'll tell you this tip now what i do i sit on saturday or sunday for one hour and uh, for five or uh, six department hr admin sales marketing uh, finance and operations i spend 10 minutes each on each department and i note down that what all things i need to prioritize and work on next week okay uh, the things which i need to do i just write them aside and the ones i need to delegate to my team i use the task delegation tool yes you want you guys are going to get the task delegation tool as well in the next upcoming videos so task delegation tool i delegate the task to all the team members the ones which i know that these works are need to be done by my team members now the one which need to be done by me i write them down and then i start prioritizing which work will be done on what time of what day and when I prioritize that, then I use this calendar, weekly scheduler and one click, my entire week plan gets filled from this tool to this beautiful Google calendar. Would you like to see how it works? Would you like to see how weekly scheduler works? Let's see. So my friend, what do you need to do first? When you, so where will you get this tool by the way? Where will you get this tool? Uh, in this video, you will see the description below the video. There will be a link uh, called weekly scheduler. When you click on it, you can make a copy of yours and then you can start using it. Firstly, what you need to do, you need to go to the instruction sheet and you need to read the instructions for entering the events and for deleting the events. Okay, you need to read it step by step and it will be easy for you. So step one is select start date of the week. So here you need to actually put up the start date what date you will be starting the week so here you need to choose the sunday this particular cell you need to choose the sunday for example here i want to plan out from first of june to entire week so i'll need to be choosing 31st of may so i'm choosing 31st of may as my day that on this day i'm planning for the entire next week so see see that monday to sunday all these days are coming up uh, from first of june to 6th of june right now here you see that these options are available these times are available 3 a.m 3 30 4 a.m and it's going again up to 12 a.m i have these kind of notes as well which i can note here and uh, let me fill some events here so for example on monday i want to have my team meeting or maybe uh, on monday what i need to do Mm, on Monday okay 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 on Monday yes I think I, I need to have a review meeting with each with each team member with team members okay then I'm thinking that okay I think by 10 30 I should uh, read a book for half an hour or maybe in the morning 8 a.m. I'll read a book okay then 9 o'clock I have a review meeting which will go at least for next two hours at 11 a.m. for example I'm planning for a meeting meeting with Pepsi as an example here right and then I know that will go for at least two hours and then 2 30 for example I'll personally I'll start recording my sessions right so course development I'm planning my Monday then here I'm choosing that okay again next day I'll be reading a book and here instead of review meeting instead of review meeting I'll maybe start doing some sales sales calls 
as an example i'm giving you right you will be creating your own calendar accordingly try to understand it's just an example i'm presenting to you so for example from 9 to 12 it will be two hours of three years of call which will be going on and uh, for example at this time i'll start posting social media posting as an example okay and maybe few other examples you can see maybe you can hear you can say that uh, team review meeting once again so you can see here that we have created some good examples here we have created some good events here i, I don't want to waste time on creating the entire week a little for you you have you got the context what i'm trying to see here and uh, what will you do you will simply go to this section called set weekly calendar you need to click on it and you need to run the script on the first time it will ask you to give it authorization only first time and after that it will ask, not ask you so you need to click on the continue it will take you to the next tab and uh, the email id on which you want to play it the google calendar email id you need to give the permission from that by clicking on this by clicking on this you'll be giving the permission for this tool actually to schedule the event on your google calendar and you need to click on allow and you're good to go authorization is successful and now this is right now the script is running up and once you authorize it again you go here and click on set weekly calendar that's it when you do that all these events will automatically go to where to google calendar let's see bang on all these are vanished from here and where are they gone where are they gone firstly they have gone to this sheet called event sheet what is it called event sheet this is the events which i planned reading a book re review meeting sales calls team meeting all these events are here right and it is created on this date but it is on when starting on these dates with this time yes or no on this my calendar id if I want to delete i can choose few of these options and i can click here and i can click on delete as well although i'm not deleting right now i want to check right now whether on my google calendar it has been done or not so finger cross let's see and guess what guys can we have a round of applause for this beautiful tool have a look by just filling this particular sheet for 10 15 minutes planning the entire week clicking on just single one cell called set weekly calendar it has completely planned all your events on your google calendar now the beauty part is that for example i want to uh, cancel this event which is called course development this one i want to cancel it and maybe i want to cancel the team review meeting as well so what i'll do is simply go to the event sheet and i'll go to the course development right And maybe one of the event I want to cancel, maybe social media posting these two I want to cancel. I'll click here and I'll click on delete events. And guess what? What happened? Both are done, both are actually vanished from Google Canada. Let me check whether it has been deleted or not. And guess what? It has been deleted. It has been deleted, guys. So, how did you like this tool? Guys? Tell, tell me. Put one line, you know, as the comment. Did you like this tool to be good? What I want you to do is, after you finish this video, install it in your Google Sheet and Google Calendar and try creating few Google Calendar events and try deleting few as well. Friends, in the upcoming videos in the next weeks, you're going to get some amazing, amazing business, rule, business tools, which for you as a business owner are going to give you so much edge as, com as compared to your competition. Right? So congratulations, guys. You learned this tool called your weekly scheduler. I'll see you in the next video. Keep learning, keep scaling, keep automating. See you.